Hi guys, just a quickie here. Um, this is purely a lash up just for test purposes. I've used a screw clip and a piece of cut off piece of angle to mount to the board. And what we've got here, my 8 to 1 ratio is probably about right. It calculated, calculated to about uh, 16. There's a marker. And that's a little bit fast, although it can be obviously with a foot switch. It can be advanced bit by bit. However, it is a little bit fast. I may have set up a speed controller to the motor here, but generally speaking, although the one I've got somewhere is a PWM unit, shouldn't lose too much uh, in the way of torque, but I'd rather use direct from the motor. This old chuck, I've put that on there and it's still still starting up and I put some drag on it. Put a fair tension on the belt, which if you may notice is the flat belt, which is toothed, but uh, we've got a fairly good bit of grip. And we just come in so I'm putting some drag on the table. You hear the motor load. There's quite a lot of pressure on the table. So, from that point of view we're okay, but the thing that I'm going to probably do is uh, get another motor, because these really are so inexpensive. I found an ordered one but for 5 RPM, okay. Well 5 RPM translates to a rotation of one revolution every 96 seconds. So for a minute and a half to go the full revolution sounds pretty good to me. I knew this one might have been a bit high on revolutions at 30 but it was this one was actually on an auction and I bid and got it so it was cheaper. The other factor which has got to be resolved is how to ground things. What I might do is, depending on the workpiece involved, and it's not going to be used that often, but depending on the workpiece involved, I'm going to see if I can possibly... I'm out of frame. I'm going to see if I can possibly uh, fix a, a grounding clip to the top of the work may mean changing it periodically and the other thing is underneath here around the hub is to make a slip ring a copper slip ring of some sort uh, there are several options but I'll probably deal with that when I've got the whole thing uh, functional for rotation speed so this is only an extra to the main video that I did and uh, I'll have to wait now for this motor to arrive, so it's on hold for a bit, but basically uh, proving the uh, function. Thanks for watching.